road to Colorado. I've been driving, I don't know, for about 20 miles um, on a 55 mile an hour speed limit road. Um, you can see the double element wing is still on the car back there. And mileage is down considerably. Um, I'm averaging at 60 miles an hour uh, exactly what I used to average with the single element wing at about 70. Um, there's a big hill right when I left uh, the house that normally if you just coast down you'll pick up at least 10 miles per hour if not 15 miles per hour and the, the, <laughs> I maintained I started at 60 started at the top at 60 miles an hour and at the bottom they got up to 62 miles an hour <laughs> so uh, there's definitely considerable drag um, it's stable to pull at 60. I, I posted a picture on Facebook and everyone's like, oh, it's going to lift the tongue off the truck. I'm like, yeah, it's definitely, I can feel it. It's a little light, but it's, you know, not out of hand. Um, so I'll pull over here before I hit the freeway, pull the wing off, figure out where to put it, and uh, I'll report back my mileage at speed. Um, and then it's going to be a little bit before I can get down to 60, probably construction zone or something. As you can see I'm averaging at 11 and a half miles per gallon. And this is pretty accurate actually. Um, when you hand calculate it as well. So it's not going to be a total savings when I pull the rear wing off because you can see the front wing there. It's virtually clean air bouncing around there. Not bouncing, but yeah, it's got clean air. So definitely still some drag on the front wing area, but uh, it is what it is, but you can see the rear wing. It's pretty stable um, People behind me are definitely reaping benefits of uh, the draft Took the wing off So you can see uh, what it does without probably gonna tell a little easier Not the only spot we can put it is there So I brought some blankets. I'll wrap it up strap it down somehow it's just carbon you can make more right there we go that should do luckily the, the wind blocks almost all that so it's basically just to keep the wing there so here it goes so I've been trucking along at 74 75 miles an hour for about an hour now and we're doing better mileage than we were doing at 55 or 60 with the wing on so that's pretty sweet <laughs> uh, I'm estimating that it would do I don't know 16 or 17 miles per gallon easily without the wing at 55 or 60 so next chance I'm stuck down at that speed I'll get a calculation all right I'm in a construction zone doing this safely of course um, I've been driving for quite a while now at 74 miles an hour and I'm at that mileage so down at 60 miles an hour which is the speed limit do a reset Let's see what it's doing for mileage at 60 miles an hour. We'll let it uh, we'll let it normalize there. And I'll check in. All right, a few more miles down. Um, I got to speed back up, but it's obviously substantially better. Uh, say four miles per gallon on average better at 60 miles an hour 